Dems think drug-addled voters can push them over the top in 2018. The votes of druggists could be crucial in the 2018 midterm elections. That's what Democrats think, which is why they are going all out to show their support for pot users. Dan Cannon is trying to unseat a Republican House member in Indiana. He thinks he has a winning issue the legalization of marijuana. He makes a statement so outrageous, so preposterous, that I have to parse it, phrase by phrase, and it's appealing the legalization of marijuana because it touches on so many other things, creates a new industry with jobs. Narcotics dealers are a new industry with jobs. I suppose so, from a certain point of view. Good for agriculture. Growing narcotics is now agriculture? What are we, Afghanistan? Alleviates pressures placed on the criminal justice system. And if we decriminalized rape and murder, it would alleviate the pressure even further. Reduces overdose deaths. Legalizing drugs increases consumption, and overdoses. Is a natural pain reliever, can raise massive tax revenue, etc. I think Dan Cannon is the opposite of a natural pain reliever. And why is it that the only businesses that Democrats want to support involve drugs or racial sensitivity training? Cannon thinks that he can overcome the natural Republican instincts of Indiana by supporting marijuana legalization. And he isn't the only one. In a race to unseat a GOP congressman in Kentucky, the three Democratic candidates are a black man, a white woman, and a homosexual. Which one is from the most virtuous Democratic Party interest group? None of the three are taking any chances, the candidates are all trying to tip the scale by highlighting their support for narcotics. State Senator Reggie Thomas the black candidate, who represents a portion of Lexington in the Kentucky Senate, was first in the race to come out in favor of medical marijuana. In a web video, he states, the evidence is clear. Medical marijuana helps those with chronic pain and other medical conditions. Two days after Thomas posted that video, one of his primary opponents, Amy McGrath the white woman, responded on Twitter, many hashtag veterans suffering from hashtag chronic pain and hashtag PTSD report improved healthcare outcomes from hashtag medical cannabis. I'm proud to stand with the at American Legion in advocating for more research. Jim Gray Gray is openly gay, the mayor of Lexington, is the third Democrat vying for the opportunity to unseat Barr. I'm for Congress either legalizing medical marijuana across the country or getting out of the way and letting states decide whether to regulate and tax marijuana. That means removing it as a Schedule I drug, Gray told Politico. Why is it that Democrats only have a keen interest in one kind of pharmaceutical? Beyond government centralization and control of healthcare, marijuana is where Democrats' interest in medical innovation starts and ends. Questions for discussion. 1. Democrats are obviously trying to curry the favor of pot eats. If that isn't enough, do you think they will also try to attract the votes of cocaine and heroin users? 2. What other criminal class can the Democrats curry favor with? 3. In the primary contest between the black state senator, the white woman, and the gay mayor, which candidate ranks the highest in virtuousness?